What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, there's a lot of false reports that's being told that undefeated, retired, legendary, iconic, Hall of Fame, superstar boxer, five division world champion, former pound for pound king, pay per view king, the man known as Money, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Who retired 50 wins, no loss, no draw, 27 wins by way of knockout, 5 foot 8 with a 72 inch arm reach. Floyd Mayweather is now founder and promoter of Mayweather Promotions. He promoted three division world champion who simultaneously held the WBA super title at super featherweight, the WBA super regular title at lightweight, the WBA regular title at junior welterweight, superstar boxer Javante Tank Davis, who was 28 wins, no losses, no draw. 26 big wins by way of knockout, 28 years of age, 5 foot 5 with a 67 inch arm reach. And he's also been a mentor to undefeated, undisputed, lightweight world champion superstar boxer Devin the Dream Haney, who is 29 wins, no loss, no draw, 15 wins by way of knockout. He is 24 years of age, 5 foot 9 and a half with a 72 inch arm reach. And so there's, they have two. Glorified sparring sessions, Javante Tank Davis and Devin Haney. In the first sparring session, it's pretty clear what took place as everybody's on board that Javante Tank Davis got the best of Devin Haney in the first sparring session. But in the second sparring session is where the waters get muddy and there's confusion. And you have father trainer and manager Bill Haney of Devin Haney and DHP CEO, Devin Haney Promotions, Bill Haney. They say in the second sparring session, they got the best of Javante Tank Davis, so much so that when Bill had a wager with four division world champion superstar boxer Adrian the Problem Broner's father, he won the wager, right? And so with that said, you know, um, there's a lot of back and forth going on as to what actually took place, okay? And Floyd Mayweather, obviously, he was on the side of Devin Haney when this all started. Adrian Broner was on the side of Javante Tank Davis. And so Floyd Mayweather, he had very high praise for Devin Haney. Devin Haney's skill set, Devin Haney's talent. He's created in the same mold as, Dev as Floyd Mayweather. And you have Floyd Mayweather Sr., who trained Floyd Mayweather Jr., obviously, and brought him up from the mud. He stated that Devin Haney is cutting the same identical cloth of Floyd Mayweather. He's a carbon copy. And so there's a lot of mixed reaction as to what took place in the second sparring session. There's people that said that Javante Tank Davis actually rocked Devin Haney. Well, there's people that said that Devin Haney made Javante Tank Davis quit. Right? So there's a lot of different opinions as to what took place. And the footage is out there, and nobody uh, decides to release the footage. Okay? Uh, and so with that said, I heard that Javante Tank Davis got frustrated and Slam Javante uh, Devin Haney, okay, attempted to him, right? And so uh, Adrian Brona said that, you know, um, that Javante Tank Davis rocked Devin Haney. So there's many mixed com uh, uh, mixed uh, views as to what took place. And this is all from people that was there. But one thing for certain is that Floyd Miller, he never came out and sided with either side, okay? He never came out and he said it was Javante Tank Davis got the best of Devin Haney. And he never came out and he said that Devin Haney got the best of Javante Tank Davis. What he did do is have high praise for both guys. Okay, he never publicly came out and sided with Devin Haney. And he never publicly came out and sided with Javante Tank Davis. Right? What he did say is what happens in the doghouse rules. And he, did, he has high praise for Javante Tank Davis. He has high praise for Devin Haney. Period. Okay? And as their careers blossom... Javante Tank Davis signed with Mayweather Promotions and Floyd Mayweather and CEO Lenny Ellaby. Devin Haney went the route of being independent with his father, Bill Haney, and DHP Devin Haney Promotions partnering up with networks such as The Zone and Matchroom, Matchroom CEO and promoter Eddie Hearn, and then partnering up with um, uh, ESPN, uh, legendary uh, promoter, top ranked CEO Bob Arum, and top rank. Right? So they went independent. Floyd Miller was never eager to make the fight happen between the two. And I think that's largely in due part. People will speculate and they'll say, well, he knows 
Javante Tank Davis is going to knock out Devin Haney. Or he knows Devin Haney going to get the best of Javante Tank Davis. I think that Floyd Mayweather never wanted to be in the middle. Right? I don't believe he viewed it as, I don't think Tank could beat Devin or Devin could beat Tank. I think he viewed it from a standpoint of, he just didn't want to be in the middle. Right? And he wanted to go in his direction, and he didn't want either one of their careers to be derailed. But you you hear in reports and uh, things that Floyd Miller came out and said that Devin Haney got the best of Javante Tank Davis, or Devin Haney, uh, Javante Tank Davis got the best of Devin Haney. He never came out and never said either. He had just had high praise for both guys. Okay, he just stated that you know Devin Haney is a a great fighter. Uh, he's going to be great. Uh, the sky's the limit, and he says the same things about Javante Tank Davis. But just to clarify, he's never came out and fully sided with one side. Now, people can speculate and try to, you know, dissect his words and say, well, he said this and that means X, Y, and Z, right? But at the end of the day, I'm sure Floyd Miller has an opinion on how the fight would turn out. Okay, I'm sure Floyd Miller has an idea from that those two sparring sessions what he believes would happen. I'm sure Floyd Miller has an idea who won those sparring sessions. I'm sure Floyd Miller has an idea of who he think will win the actual fight. But Floyd Miller would never, ever publicly say that. He's never going to side with Devin Haney. He's never going to side with Javante Tank Davis. At the end of the day, if the fight was made, he'll probably tell you the best man is going to win. Because that's how Floyd Miller operates in this type of situation. Right? So, yes, he had high praise for Devin Haney. Right? And, um... It was said that ES, uh, ES News, Ellie Setback, he was he immediately caught up with Floyd Miller after the sparring session, and that was Floyd Miller's response that he had high praise for Devin Haney. But he never actually said that Devin Haney got the best of uh, Javante Tank Davis, right? And I don't even know if that interview was immediately following that sparring session. Possibly, right? So with that said, you know... Uh, but to say that he said Javante Tank Davis knock out uh, Devin Haney and he beat Devin Haney, he never ever said any of those things. And he would never say any of those things. Okay? Uh, you will never publicly get Floyd Miller to say anything other than, well, these are good fighters. Well, you know, uh, uh, you know, you know, these fighters, they, they're great fighters. The future, the sky's the limit. You know, uh, 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 you know me. I'm the best that ever did it. That's, you know, that's how Floyd did it. He'll switch the subject. Okay? He's never, ever going to completely side with Tank Davis, and he's never going to ever completely side with Devin Haney when it comes to what took place in that sparring session and who he thinks will win. Now, again, in private, if somebody asks him, maybe Floyd Miller will tell you, oh, I think Devin get the best of him, or I think Tank get the best of him. But he looks at both of these guys, as you know uh you know little brothers or however he views them right as a mentor he's never going to side with one against the other he's just not going to do it again i'm sure 1000 percent certain that floyd miller has an opinion as to what he think would happen and maybe he'll tell somebody in private who he think will win but he's never going to publicly tell anybody that period now, there was people that felt like Floyd Miller was protecting Javante Tank Davis. And to a degree, I believe he was. Because he saw a way to build up Javante Tank Davis into the superstar he is today, breaking live gates back-to-back at the Barclays Center May 28th in Brooklyn against Rowley and at the Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C. against Hector Garcia. Right? He helped create that superstar. He helped build that foundation under Tank Davis's feet. You understand? He helped mentor uh, uh, Devin Haney and helped give Devin Haney tips and guide Devin Haney, right? So he laid the, the green print, as, as Bill liked to say. He laid the green print, the green print, right? But as far as him coming out and saying that he beat uh, Devin Haney, knocked him out, or Devin Haney dominated Javante Tank Davis or vice versa, he will never say that, and he never have said that. Okay? These are two great fighters, and everybody has an opinion as to who they think will win and how they think they will win. Me, personally, I favor Devin Haney to beat Javante Tank Davis, but it's still a 50-50 fight. 
I just think the attributes, I just think the skill set of what Devin Haney possesses is what it would take to beat a Javante Tank Davis. It's not many people out there that can beat Javante Tank Davis. So with that said, again, like I said, Floyd Miller is never going to side with one over the other. Not publicly anyway. And that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All in one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shouts out to the entire LDBC. Shouts out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like your shitty videos. That's all I got for y'all.